Who? That is someone who does not have <laughs> trepidation. <laughs> he is nearing completion of a CCNCL. He is not only a charter member, but a VPPR of the Club Safe Words and now a club investor. Please welcome Gary. Thank you, Mr. General Evaluator. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and fellow guests and fellow ambassadors. Morning. Now that we've got that list out, we probably don't have any more time for the evaluation. <laughs> <laughs> you, see before we, you see before you the personification of trepidation. And I'm probably suffering from a triple trepidation because everything is so impromptu. I didn't realize I was going to have to reevaluate. And when I did have to evaluate, I found out that there was no manual. And then I found out I have to evaluate the only woman speaking today on one women's day. But that means that she gave the most important speech. Nobody dared deny that. And she gave us an advanced speech from the Speaking to Inform series. And that's exactly what she did. She spoke with passion, really. It could almost be called Speak with Passion because she's very passionate about the Ambassador Programme and that showed from the very moment. If she could have walked down the hall, I think she would have done, but uh, she might have struggled to get out of here. And that's very clear from her body language and her eagerness to hand out the forms because she wants you to be able to go around the district as an ambassador as well. And it's important that you do get to see the forms because you know how to fill them in. She explained in detail how to fill them in. It occurred to me that it's probably not too wise to wait while the forms are being handed out. That was the only shame that I thought, because there was a pause while we watched you watching us read the forms. And I thought, well, we don't need to watch you pausing for two minutes or a minute. It's a great filibuster, but it's a little bit too long in terms of filibusters. So I would have still handed that, that out, because nobody's watching the forms when they go out. So I would have handed out the forms and then still spoken so that you can, you can create some momentum. Because pauses are good, but not 30 second pauses. And that's what it felt like. Maybe because 10 seconds is too long to pause. Because we've always been told, pause but sparingly. Pause instead of arm and arm. And now I do, and now I go into a 30 second pause. Because <laughs> 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 I always have trouble reading my notes, yes. But, the, the irony of handing out those forms is that it does engage the audience and what Delona constantly did throughout the speech is to ask questions of the audience to make sure that the audience is still awake or have already woken up <laughs> and that you actually get an answer because when the audience answers a question that you deliberately ask them in a small room you can look at people and make sure that they do answer it they're paying attention so it means that you're engaged in the subject as well and that is something that makes us remember that it is a win-win clearly detailed the win-win situation and hopefully it's used us all with enough passion to go around the district as fellow ambassadors because it's that easy that you only need three visits to get your pin yeah. and to get recognition on the website which helps everybody, it helps the club that you visit and yeah. the club that you represent. So I hope to see all of you on the District 84 website but thank oh. you very much for, for informing us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.